Now to another major story this week, Eric Swalwell and his relationship with the suspected Chinese spy. Pressure is mounting for Nancy Pelosi to remove Swalwell from his highly sensitive House Intelligence Committee position. 17 House members sending a letter to Pelosi uh, this week demanding Swalwell's removal from the Intel Committee. And one of those members, Indiana Congressman Jim Banks, joins me right now. Congressman, so I, I just got to ask you, why is Eric Swalwell still on the House Intel Committee? Lisa, your, your uh, guess is as good as mine. Really, this is the most astonishing part of this story. It, it's been, been a very public story for a couple of weeks, but Nancy Pelosi has known that Eric Swalwell was compromised by a Chinese communist spy for years, and still she appointed him to the committee. She's allowed him to serve on the committee. And even with the liability of, of the rest of America now knowing what she knew privately, that a, that a Chinese communist spy had uh, compromised Eric Swalwell, she still has yet to do anything about it. I've, I've got a couple of theories. Either Eric Swalwell has something or the Chinese Communist Party has something on, on uh, Nancy Pelosi herself, or uh, Nancy Pelosi needs Eric Swalwell's vote really badly in a couple of weeks to be reelected as Speaker of the House. No, nothing else makes sense at this point why she hasn't removed him from the committee. Well, and sir, you serve on the China Task Force for Republicans. We also saw this with Senator Dianne Feinstein. I mean, her driver was a spy. Her driver of 20 years was a spy. Why does China pick these certain targets? Is it, is it intentional, or do you know why they pick these certain targets? Yeah, Lisa, it's extremely intentional. And, and this, this stretches far and wide, and, and, and we're becoming more and more aware of the, of the China uh, threat, the espionage techniques that the CCP uses. I mean, it stretches into corporate America, it stretches into Hollywood, it stretches into professional sports. The way that they coerced the NBA last year is a, is a really big example. But what makes this story different involving Eric Swalwell is that they identified him as a city councilman with some political upside. This spy uh, uh, coerced him into a relationship, of an intimate one, it appears. And, and over time, they helped get him elected to Congress. They helped staff his office. Uh, this uh, spy herself was involved in his organization. So you start piecing this together, and it tells us that this is a part of a very deep strategy by the Chinese Communist Party to infiltrate our, our government. And in this case, Eric Swalwell is privy to the most highly classified and sensitive information that's provided to any member of Congress serving on the House Intelligence Committee. This is a real threat. And the fact that Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, is turning a blind eye to this threat, I think is probably a sign of, 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 of what we're going to see into the future. Under Kevin McCarthy, House Republicans have been very tough on China. But the Democrat Party today has, uh, has become a tool of the Chinese Communist Party. The, Chi the Chinese Communist Party has the Democrat Party in their back pocket. And in Eric Swalwell's case, it's even well worse. Well, and about that, I mean, what do you think she was trying to gain from him? Um, well, uh, the, uh, they, they saw the political upside. Um, why, why Nancy Pelosi put him on the House Intelligence Committee, knowing this was going on all along, is at this point still yeah. a mystery. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader, was briefed by the FBI yesterday. He came out of that briefing and said that Eric Swalwell should be immediately removed from the House Intelligence Committee. Nancy Pelosi hasn't removed him yet, and uh, we can only speculate about why. But the Democrats um, at this point are showing that they are the pro-China party under Leader McCarthy's leadership with the China Task Force, other efforts. Republicans have been tough on China. That, that's the difference between the parties that you're going to see emerge even further. I mean, uh, the, the, every single pick by Joe Biden to this point for his administration has a pro-China uh, record, pro-China rhetoric, in some cases financial entanglements, not, not to mention the whole Hunter Biden corruption probe into his relationship with Chinese Communist Party entities. This is very deep and wide for the Democrat Party. They know it. They have a chance and, to do the right thing and remove Eric Swalwell, and they haven't. Well, and it's also, why is the China Daily being delivered to Congress? I know this is an effort that you've really been trying to get at, but the Chinese, China Daily is propaganda for the Chinese Communist Party, but it is delivered to congressional office on Capitol Hill. Why? Yeah. <laughs> This was one of the most astonishing uh, uh, things that has happened to me since I've become a member of Congress. I've been there for four years, and every day the, the China Daily, a, a propaganda piece of the Chinese Communist Party, appears mysteriously on my doorstep as it does other members of Congress. I asked Speaker Pelosi 
why is that allowed? Why, why can't we, we stop a uh, tool of the Chinese government from being a, a, propaganda, a propaganda rag from being delivered to our doorstep? She's been completely silent. Uh, she's never addressed my letter, and, uh, and I've followed up time and time again with her Jeez. office about how that can be the case. It's a, it's a sign of, again, what, what has it's, become yeah, it just, of American politics. Democrats are on the side of China. Republicans it, are, the, are the tough on China party. It, it blows your mind. And, and real quick, so there is a deductibility fix potentially on Capitol Hill. Essentially what happened, a lot of these small businesses who took out PPP loans, they thought that they were ultimately going to be able to deduct those expense for, expenses paid for with the PPP funding. However, the IRS is now saying they can't. You're trying to change this. What do we know about that uh, and what's going on in Capitol Hill right now? It's got, that's got to be a piece of a COVID relief deal. And as Republicans negotiate with Nancy Pelosi, who's made it very difficult to negotiate with her, by the way, she's demanding blue state bailouts for Democrat states as her key uh, piece of the negotiation. Republicans are trying to uh, solve this problem with PPP loans to small businesses that are keeping so many American families employed and uh, uh, fee, uh, pay, uh, paying them uh, what they need to, to feed their families and and uh, pay their bills. And, and yet Pelosi has held all of that hostage uh, for, uh, for, for bailouts to states like Illinois. By, by the way, I come from Indiana and hardworking Hoosiers shouldn't be on the right. hook to bail out states like Illinois who have had deficits for decades before the pandemic. So that, that's, that, that's the outrage, outrageous part of this negotiation. Uh, Speaker Pelosi should come to her senses, right. do the right thing and pass a bill that solves well, these problems. I appreciate you working on that issue because it effectively could be almost a 37 percent tax increase for some of these small businesses who thought they could deduct these expenses. And now the IRS is saying they can't. Big issue. Thank you for fighting on it. Appreciate you. Thanks, Congressman. Thank you.